Hey YouTubers, this is Papa Chaz here. I've done a few videos on my old tractor with my son-in-law, but I uh, got something showing you today. I got me a new uh, Brinkman Trailmaster Limited smoker grill for Christmas. Got it set up, got it going through the curing process right now. Uh, I know it's not quite Christmas yet, but uh, gonna do some cooking for Christmas, so we went ahead and got it and got it set up. And uh, just gonna show you a little bit about it. Uh, special shout out before I get started here to a, a man down in Texas by the name of K Ray. And uh, you YouTubers want to find out some good barbecue and some good tips on on using one of these things? Uh, check out K Ray down in Texas. Uh, subscribe to his channel, man. He's got a ton of good videos on how to cook and how to use this thing. And be honest, he's the one that I watch so much that uh, I determined I was gonna get this one because his because his looks so good. So uh, shout out to K Ray, thank you, sir. And I will be uh, testing some of those uh, recipes that you got online. We're gonna just look at some of the basics. Um, there's our temperature grill right now. We at uh, about 260. On the main one, on this side we're at 201. Got it set to beep at me at 252. And on the firebox side we're at 281. So you can see the difference in the temperatures. And that is why so many people, when they get these things, do some modifications and put a baffle in it. Didn't come from the factory with a baffle. Uh, got the damper closed all the way, and it still got that much heat. So I was wondering how the, the heat would go, but uh, it don't take a whole lot of charcoal, neither. I had this thing up about 400 degrees. I had to get some of that charcoal out of there. When I put it together, I did use some RTV high temp, and you see the red. And I started to paint it, and... Uh, but the black and red looks good together. That's, that, that's my Bulldogs and my Falcons color. So we're going to leave it like it is. Got me a little oak piled up underneath there. Ain't got no wood in it yet. But uh, got a nice big smokestack. Good handle. Going to enjoy this thing. I like to cook with my disability. And I don't get out of the house much and do much else. And I can't up and down and tend to a barbecue grill. But on this with smoking the food. I can put it on there and just tend to it every hour, hour and a half or so. Just depending on what I'm cooking. We coated the whole inside of it with canola oil, going through the curing process. You see the smoke in there. You can see without the light. My temperature probe stuck through some cherry. Keep them off of them grills because it'd give a false reading if it was laying right on that metal grill. I gotta get a baffle put down in that corner across this side. But uh, don't have the charcoal grills in there because you ain't supposed to spray the oil on them to, to cure it. One of the things I've already done was in the firebox. As you can see, not a whole lot of charcoal and we're holding them good temperatures. But I made that charcoal box, uh, that little charcoal basket. Went and got me some uh, expanded metal and did a little bit of welding. It took me a couple of hours to do something I should have been able to do in about 15 minutes, but I just can't do it for long. But uh, fixing to put a piece of wood in on top of that. I don't want it to get too cold, so I'm going to close that back. But, uh, so here, there it is. Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to my family who's going to get to eat. I do all the work and they do all the eating. Of course, I do a lot of eating myself, so everybody knows me knows that. So, Merry Christmas to me and uh, Merry Christmas to all y'all too. And no, I don't say Happy Holidays. For all you that get offended by saying Merry Christmas, you can cut me off because I don't care. I get offended when you say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. So anyway, Merry Christmas to me. And uh, shout out to K Ray one more time. Thank you, sir, for all your help. And uh, we're going to be enjoying it. Thank you.